What is going on guys? It's your boy Dead Gun with another ARC video. Today we're going to be learning the effective ways to get metal and metal ingots. I'm going to be showing you two very popular spots for you guys to get metal here on the island. First off, you're going to need a trusty companion, preferably a flyer so you can get this done without any problems. We're going to be using my buddy Shadow, the Argentavis. Quick tip, Argentavias are awesome to carry and overall to fly. They have amazing stamina and carry weight. Shadow is excited, so let's get going. Now, there are tons of areas to get metal. I'm not saying these are the best, but these are by far the most useful and my favorite. First off, we're going to be talking about the big volcano. This is where I go to the most because it's close to my house. There are tons of places guys, the ice mountains is another amazing area to get metal. You can tell its location because it's directly under the big blue tower. Now I will keep flying to the volcano and I'll meet you guys at the top. And we're back at the top of the volcano. You see those gold rocks? That's the metal guys and that's what we're going to be farming. Remember how I told you guys the Argentavias are amazing, right? Well, what makes this flyer so amazing is its incredible carry weight. With this guy, I can carry over 700 pounds. That's a lot of metal, guys. Like I said, if you have one or more Argentavias, you're going to be running around with metal armor, metal weapons in no time. Now, when you get to the top of the mountain, you're going to want to look for these goldish looking rocks. In the morning or daylight, they should shine bright like this. Now, you want to use your metal pickaxe. Like I told you guys in my past video, metal pickaxes is what you want to use to get the most metal. Now, here you can see the tons and tons of metal I'm getting. We are at 90. We're about to reach. We passed 100. They're not even letting me talk fast enough. Look at this, guys. Tons and tons of metal, guys. Now, when you're encumbered and you cannot carry anymore, make sure to keep in mind how much metal to rocks you have so you have a general amount of how many rocks you're going to throw out. That's right. When you finish farming, you will go into your inventory and toss out your rocks. That way, you're free to move again and you'll proceed to leave the metal at your bird. That way you can go back and get even more metal. Now keep in mind, the more carry weight you and your bird have, the more metal you will be able to grab. But there is tons of metal here guys. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope you have learned from me and Shadow how to get metal. Now as a bonus I'm going to show you guys how to make metal ingots. It's generally uh, you know, easy. Task. Now that we have, you know, 500 metal, we're going to get going and make us some metal ingots. I'll meet you guys there. Enjoy the rest of the flight. Alright, and we're back at my house, guys. Now, to make the metal ingots, it's generally easy. You need to have, one, a forge, two, either wood, tatch, or spark powder, preferably the last. And last but not least, the actual metal. You're going to want to deposit these things into the forge and then watch as the metal gets turned into metal ingots. You will need two metal to make one metal ingot. Keep that in mind. That means that with the 500 metal we just got, we're going to be able to make 250 metal ingots. That is awesome guys. That should give you guys enough metal to craft armor weapons tools whatever it is you need so yeah that will about wrap it up for the video i hope you guys have enjoyed and learned if you have any questions about arc and if you want to play let me know in the comment section down below your boy death gun out